Hi, this is Todd Oltoff, and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Photography on the iPhone has historically been about composing a shot and then taking the shot. The camera does all the rest, and you get good-looking photos. This has been fine for the casual user who just wants to capture a moment, but for the professional who is used to controlling every part of the shot, from composition to manual settings from the dials and menus on their digital DSLR, this is very limiting. Halide Mark II gives you the ability to shoot in automatic mode or manual mode. It is the manual mode that gives the user control over things like shutter speed and ISO. You can also work with RAW photos and even shoot in RAW plus JPEG, or have your RAW images pre-processed so that they don't look as flat as a traditional RAW image does. In this screencast, we're going to look at the basics of exposure so that you can better appreciate the pro features of this application and feel comfortable working with the manual settings. Of course, we will also cover all of the features that are available in the automatic mode as well so that you can see the pros and cons of each. So here we are over on the App Store, and this is Halide Mark II, and you can see it's a pro camera application. I'm just going to scroll down here so you can see the in-app purchases because there are two options. You can see there you can purchase a yearly version, which is $11.99, and this is like a membership. So you get all of the updates going forward. It keeps the developer going and developing the application. Or you can do a one-time purchase for $35.99 and you own the application and you don't have to worry about paying on an annual basis. I have Halide installed, so let's go ahead and launch it for the first time. I'm just going to tap on Open and we'll go right into the application. Now this is the Halide interface and I want to show you some of the features that are available here. You can see right in the middle there is the viewfinder, and this is where I compose the shot. And you can see I've got uh, my desktop right there, and I've got a couple of things that I'm focusing in on. Down below that is what's called the quick bar. If I swipe up right here, you can see there are other options available. And if I just go ahead and swipe down again, you can see that those things are hidden. There's also a shutter button on the bottom. And over to the left there is the focus ring. And this is where we would set either automatic focus or manual focus. And I'm going to talk about that a little more when I talk about focus in this screencast. Uh, you can see we also have the lens switcher there, which is what we're used to seeing on the iPhone. We have a gallery area over here, and this is where we would take a look at our shots, just like we would have on the iPhone itself. So those are very familiar. There's also a manual mode, and if I just swipe out from the side here, you see I have the option to leave it on auto mode or change to manual mode. And there's also a zebras option there, which I'm going to explain later in the screencast. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it on auto mode. And then you can see at the very top of the app there, I've got some settings that adjust depending on what I'm working with in the application. But I'll go into more depth on that as we go through the screencast. But you can see it's a very clean and simple interface. And as we get into all the features, though, you'll see how powerful this application really is. So what we're going to do is get started by taking a look at exposure, because really exposure is where a lot of the manual settings take place. And I'm going to walk you through uh, what's called the exposure triangle, just so you get an idea of how exposure works, so that when you use these pro features, you know what you're doing and why. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.